Welcome to Phoenix Basics. In this video we're going to be looking at the view settings and lighting. Now that we've covered the user interface layout, we're going to look at manipulating the view with a nice geometry. Here you can see I've imported a sports car uh, into the user interface and we're going to look at how to view that with the mouse and toolbar options. First, you can zoom in and out of the model by holding the right mouse button and dragging downwards or upwards. Um, this can also be achieved by clicking these leftmost buttons on the toolbar. Um, when you hold the right mouse button, dragging left to right will also tilt the model um, and that's achieved by clicking on these far right arrows on this toolbar. You can pan across your model by holding the left and right mouse button at the same time and dragging your mouse around the screen. You can rotate about your object by holding the left mouse button and moving left to right and up and down. This can be done by using the middle arrows on the view toolbar to move left, right, up and down. In order to reset your view to a nice square head-on view, you can click on the R for reset view parameters and then click nearest head-on. You can also click fit to window and this will nicely scale your geometry to fit your screen. The reset view parameters dialog box also has options for setting the view direction and setting the up direction. Currently we're looking in the plus x direction with y being up. If I instead want to view from the positive y direction by clicking that we'll see the top of the car. Here z is the plus up direction or plus z is the up direction so if we now want to make x the plus x the up direction by clicking that we'll rotate the car so the plus x is there the next important options on the view on the reset view parameters dialog box are the scale factors here our model is slightly longer in x than it is in y and z so if i change that to 0.5 you can see that's shrunk our car uh, that doesn't affect the actual geometry, just the view of the geometry. Uh, that can be, can be quite useful if you have a very, very long pipe which you're trying to model and you need to see both ends at the same time. Um, changing that scale factor can be helpful. View direction and up direction are similar to view and up. Um, you can just set that with more precision than any one of the positive or negative. Uh, axes directions um, I don't commonly use that uh, view center is where the view is centered currently I think that's at the probe um, but you can change that either by entering XYZ coordinates in those dialog boxes or by right clicking on an object and setting the view center so here if I right click on this small blockage and go move to object center view center um, I can also move the probe at the same time and then we'll be rotating about that block rather than previously we were rotating about the car like so I'll just square up our view again The last few options in the Reset View Parameters dialog box are View Size, View Angle and Increment. View Size is the same as Zoom. View Angle is your perspective effect or depth effect, which we'll cover in a minute. And Increment X, Y and Z adjusts how much your probe moves with each arrow click um, in each direction. I'll demonstrate that now. If we click on the probe here, we can click one of these up or down arrows and we'll move by our 0.01 in each direction. You can also access that increment here under probe parameters. If I now change this to 1 rather than 0.01 and then click my up and down arrows in the probe, you can see the probe moves much further with each click. Uh, this can be useful if you've got different scales in your X, Y and Z directions. For now, I'll reset my increments. 
You can also access the Reset View Parameters dialog by clicking on this drop down next to the R. This gives you access to some of the more commonly used options. There are some more view options which are not available in the Reset View Parameters box and are instead available under Settings. Uh, at the bottom here, these are some extra view options. View Direction takes you back to the Reset Parameters box. Um, near plane brings you into a separate menu. Uh, the near plane adjusts the near plane cutoff of your model. I'll demonstrate that here. Sometimes you, if you have a large geometry and you zoom in too close you can get a blank screen and frequently the way to solve that is by resetting the near plane. Um, just as a demonstration if I move this you can see it cut off parts of the model uh, based on where the near plane is. So sometimes if you view very far in and your near plane is set like this and you click reset your model will come back into view. Next rotation and zoom. Uh, these numbers just affect how quickly the rotation and zooming occurs. So if you find that it's taking a long time to rotate your value model and you wish it was quicker you can crank that up and spin much quicker. Um, I'll reset that and show you zoom as well. Zoom's quite slow here. If I crank that up, it can zoom in much quicker. Uh, this can be useful if you've got lots of different scales in your model, and sometimes you need to zoom into something small rather than at the larger scale. Finally, we have depth effect or perspective, and this adjusts uh, how wide your view is. So the current default is three. Uh, by reducing this, you can add more for shortening to your model and by reducing it you can crush the model back to a more isometric view. This tends to have a strange effect on some geometries uh, but is very useful if you're making a 2D model and you need to line things up. As you can see you've got no parallax error um, but for now we'll keep that back as the, the default 3. There is one more lighting or one more view option which is lighting uh, that's available under settings, adjust light. Uh, here you can adjust the levels of ambient, diffuse and specular light um, as well as the rotation of that light in the X and Y and YZ plane and decide whether you want a secondary opposing light source. So if I rotate this in the YZ plane you'll see the highlight move across the car. Might take a while to do that. And similarly, if I do that in XY, I will also change. I can make the highlight more harsh by increasing the specular light. Um, and I can make the car have more contrast by reducing the ambient light. Um, I generally find that the light settings are all right as they are normally, but that can be useful in some situations. To summarise, we have looked at view settings, zoom, rotate, tilt, pan, we've looked at the reset view parameters dialog box, um, we've done nearest head-on view, fit to window, setting the view and up directions, setting the scale and centre of the view, and we have also looked at um, the near plane depth effect and adjusting the lighting settings. Thank you for watching, please check the description for links to our tutorials, FAQs, forum, social media and Cham's website, and subscribe for more videos coming soon.